I am unintimidatable. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I also want to thank you for following House procedure. And I want to thank uh, the whip of the majority for even doing a good job of whipping members so that they do what they should be doing on the floor of the House, which is defeating us by numbers. But that can never, ever take away my right of representation. Mr. Speaker, what has happened earlier on is actually shameful in a democratic country. You cannot deny members a chance to speak to a bill. And Mr. Speaker, the, the, the majority is lucky that they have actually, I'm not that passionate about this bill. But should somebody go to, want to go to court on this bill, I want it to go on record that we were denied a chance to speak, not vote, to speak to this bill. Using, and I'm on a point of order, using and following procedure. I have put my card, Onde Botije was denied because he didn't have a card. I have a card. I put my card. I put both intervention and a chance to speak. But rated Mr. Speaker, the Madam Speaker has refused to give me a chance. And that's why I'm telling her she's my friend, but today she has embarrassed me. There's so much or so far we can go as a majority. Even when you have the numbers, use it by following what is provided constitutionally. You can't deny me a chance to speak. And I was telling Honorable Ichungwa what some of the members from his own side are saying quietly. That is very dictatorial and he denies members a chance to speak. Let members in this house be members. They are very intelligent members who have degrees here. But you are making people look here like vegetables. They cannot contribute in this house. What are we making this parliament? This parliament is becoming a, a, a joke of a house. That's why some of us hardly are in this house. Let this house be a house of debate and representation and oversight. So, you can't make members come here and you make us look like yes, flower girls. Yeah, we yeah, refuse yeah. to be flower girls and we refuse to be intimidated. When I am here and I've come here to contribute, uh, let me contribute when I've actually put my button to I speak. Know. This is a joke. You are, you are going Don't make to... this parliament a joke. You, you, you will. You will. Yes. Honorable, Honorable Milio Diambo, uh, Honorable Milio Diambo, your time has lapsed. Honorable Milio Diambo, your time has lapsed. Ma Majority Leader, I did not give you opportunity because Honorable Milio Diambo was on a point of order. Those are the um, uh, uh, few things you wanted to stand on a point of order on. By way of leadership, we can still deal with them uh, and our standing orders. Uh, I, I, want, I want now so that we make progress. Order! We want to make progress. And the way to make progress is to allow Honorable Kajuang move the recommito under the standing orders. We take a decision on it and we proceed. Uh, Honorable, Honorable T.J. Kajuang. M Mr. Speaker, sir. Would, would the majority leader approach the, the speaker in the meantime? M M Mr. Proceed. Speaker, sir, mm. I, I beg to move that the motion for agreement with the report of the committee of the whole house be amended by inserting the words subject to recommittal of the pro provisions relating to National Government Coordination Act. I also request Honorable Nikal to second. Honorable Nikal, give Honorable Nikal the mic. I second. Yes, yeah, so Honorable Members, I now propose the question, which is that the motion for agreement with the report of the committee of the whole house be amended by inserting the words subject to recommittal of the provisions relating to the National Government Coordination Act. Will as many as, no, 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 I proposed the question. So I will allow some, some contribution.
the, the Honorable TJ Kajuang, did I hear you to seek recommittal of the whole act? Or you are particular to particular clauses? No, it's not, it's, it's not debating. It's not debating. You can see I'm being assisted by the systems. <laughs> I, I, I want to be sure. Honorable Bayer, Honorable Kajuang, I want to be sure about what we are subjecting uh, for deliberations by the House, for the House's consideration. So I'm asking whether it was a recommittal of the whole report and the whole bill, or it was to specific sec sections. Uh, could you give us that clarification? Yes. Mr. Speaker, I want to be fair to the House. I also want to be fair to the majority leader who has this bill. And I want to be fair to the office of the speaker. I am requesting uh, recommittal only to provisions that relate to section two, section seven two, and section eight. That is very clear. Uh, Honorable Bayer, we have been you in said, this house. You for said a very long section time. two. We are old people. We can't be You speaking. said section two. Section two. Section 7, subsection 2, and section 8. And section 8. And I, yes, and section 8. And, and, and now for, for clean records, would you move for recommittal again specific to those clauses? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that the motion for agreement with the report of the committee of the whole house be amended by inserting the words subject to recommittal of um, the provision of the national uh, national government coordination act 2013 number 1 of, of 2013 specifically section 2 section 7 subsection 2 and sections eight as proposed. Thank you. Who is seconding? I, I ask uh, Honorable, oh, Honorable Nikal, Nikal you can now second. second. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I second this, but we really must understand what we have come for. It is important that issues are debated, particularly important issues. To use the house to block is actually unfair. Now, what has done, happened now is what is important. He's seconding. I'm seconding, and I'm saying why I'm seconding. And it is important that in this house we discuss what has happened now is what is important. Members who have been whipped to come in now have a chance to understand, to contribute. It does not matter which way they will vote. But when these things are passed here, when even then they're questioned, when we go to the public, people ask us, were you there? Did you follow? You know some of us have even said, I didn't read. That is why I second so that we have a chance to debate this. I second. Yeah, Honorable Member, now that we are proceeding with clarity, allow me to propose the question afresh. I propose the question, which is that the motion for agreement with the report of the Committee of the All House be amended by inserting the words subject to recommittal of clause 2, clause 7, subclause 2, and clause 8 of the National Government uh, Coordination Amendment. It's the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 73 of 2023. So, do we have interest on this? Honorable Kajuang, I have Honorable Owen Bayer. You want to say something? It is honorable, the majority leader. Yes. 
You, you take precedence. Yeah. You take precedence. You don't need to use <laughs> the bow and fire to speak. You know, I, I, I dropped my card as I rushed back after mobilizing the team to come back, Honorable Speaker. But, uh, but thank you for indulgence. Honorable Speaker, I object to that recommito. Uh, Honorable Speaker, and therefore would beg that you just put the question. There was absolutely no reason to recommit that clause, and I know the issues that uh, Honorable TJ Kajuang had consulted me over. We had discussed that there are issues that can be addressed later uh, with the kind of uh, segregation he had desired. Uh, and since he's a member of the committee of JLAC that considered this bill, is among the issues that would also have been considered by the committee at the committee stage, Honorable Speaker. And it's also not true, Honorable Speaker, that members have not had an opportunity to debate this particular bill. We are not in second reading. We are in the third reading of this bill, uh, Committee of the Whole, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, members, including my good friend, the Honorable Mili, had an opportunity to debate all the clauses and all the provisions of this particular bill. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, we should not sit here as elected members of parliament to listen to people telling us that they will go to court. Courts are open every day for people to go walk to court and do whatever you want to do in court. But when you are elected as a legislator, you come to the house at the right time, at the appointed time, at 2.30 p.m., like the Honorable Nikal does every day, or the Honorable uh, Kajuang. They are always here at 2.30. I was with the Honorable Kajuang here at noon for the House Business Committee. But a member cannot walk into the chamber at 5 p.m., demand to speak, then go uh, uh, on a tantrum, uh, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, throwing epithets at even the pass of the Speaker. Honorable Speaker, including going to the extent against our own starting order, starting order number 87, to attempt to discuss the person of the Speaker or someone chairing the committee of the whole House as a Speaker, Honorable Chair, as a Chair of a committee. Honorable Speaker, I know the Honorable Mili may not want to hear this, but young members like the Honorable Njeri, minor from Kirinyaga, who is calm and willing to learn from older members, ought to see more and better maturity from the older members. And I would really beg the Honorable Mili uh, next time to exhibit the kind of maturity expected of her as the grandmother of the House, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And I oppose this particular recommito and urge the entire House to oppose the recommito. The, the, the Honorable TJ Kajuang, I doubt you can contribute having moved the committee. <laughs> uh, did, did I hear the Honorable Mishimboko to say she wants to say something to this? The, the Honorable Naomi Wako. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the Honorable, this is Fatuma. In case you forgot the second name. You forgot my second name is Fatuma Full Network. No. MP Migori no, County. That, Am that, I the one you are referring to, Mr. Speaker? Honorable Member, would you state your correct names? My name is Fatuma Zaila Mohammed Full Network. Do you have a problem with the it's name, Mr. Speaker? It's full network, your name known yes, by the House. Yes, it's my name. It's my name, Mr. Speaker. It will be confirmed. You can proceed. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I only have one concern. All through, I've been sitting in this House as we went into the committee of the whole House. And I want to be very honest with you. There is no single bill that I had even what was read. Because it was in a rush, and there were members shouting, and the bills were passed. And so I'm wondering, as a member of Migori County, if I happen to meet this bill, what will I say? I am speaking out of honesty, and I can swear to it, will lie be lie. There's nothing that I had, and I'm not the only one who didn't hear. I didn't even want to contribute, but I wanted to hear what is being read. What I'm trying to say, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Ichungwa, Mr. Ichungwa, just to be a man, men don't shout back at women. O Please Honorable, smile and look Honorable, at me as Honorable speak. Fatuma. Mr. You, you always address the speaker and you keep to the standing orders in terms of relevance. You are addressing Rikomito, proposed by Honorable Kajuang. You are not addressing the majority leader. And the majority leader for purposes of uh, decorum in the house is Honorable Ichungwa, not Mr. Ichungwa. Sorry, sorry. 
Honorable Ichungwa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Through, through the speaker, please accept my apology. Still, you are a minister because you are a decent man anyway. But my point is this, Mr. Speaker. I am a first timer. And I sit in this house so that I learn. What I have learned today, if I was to walk outside and tell my people in Migori County about the bills that are passed in the house, I would say the bills are red and the majority say yes. What was red, I don't know, and I'm not the only one who doesn't know. Please, Mr. Speaker, may we behave in a manner that Wanainti expect us. Mr. Speaker, we are being attacked outside, and today I was attacked on a television, national television, when what I was is being told the majority that we don't speak in... Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Speaker, on standing order 87 again, the Honorable Member for Migori is uh, right in her place to stand and say that she is a new member and she ought to learn. And that is why those of us like myself and the Honorable Mili who have been here long enough and Honorable Kajuang, we have a duty to guide these new members. And the Member for Migori was to speak on the recommitted by the Honorable TJ Kajuang. Mm. What I have listened her, to her saying, she is not speaking to the recommitter. She is telling the people of Migori that she does not know what is happening in the house. And you know, you cannot stand in the house and announce to the people who voted for you that you do not know what is going on. They voted for you because they believed you are the best, among us the best in Migori. Therefore, I would, I would guide you, the member for Migori, Please do not tell the people of Migori that a bill was read. You do not know. They expected you to read, understand, contribute, propose amendments. You have not done that. Please do not exhibit that kind of... Honorable uh... <laughs> Speaker, on, on, I, on, I will really beg the member for Migori to contribute to the, to the recommito by the Honorable TJ Kajuang and not exhibit Honorable what Fatuma, was exhibiting to the people of Migori. Thank you, Majority Leader. Honorable Fatuma, you have one minute to conclude. M Mr. Speaker... I stood on a point of order, and I did not even put my card. Mr. Ichungwa, I went to school, and for your information, I even went to a school in Italy. You studied locally. I did not say that I do not know what's happening. I only said, and you are part, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Ichungwa is part of the problem that when the bill was being read, he was shouting here, and I could not even hear what was being said. But don't come here to intimidate me. The, the, you the represent one constituency. I the represent eight Lebo constituencies. Lebo you are the a minor to me. Lebo Fatuma is up. Order. You know, Honorable Mili, because uh, <laughs> she's been here along with the majority leader, has invented a mode of contribution in the house which is not known to the standing orders. Yeah. I saw a dance at the majority. <laughs> that, 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 that is a mode of debate only known to the two of you, and it can only be outside the house. Don't do it here again. <laughs> Honorable members, permit me to now put the question, which is that the motion for agreement with the report of the committee of the whole house be amended by inserting the words, subject to recommitter of the provisions of sections 2, section 7, subsection 2, and section 8 of the National Government Coordination Act. Will as, are, uh, will as many as are that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are, uh, as are of the contrary opinion say nay? The nays have it. Order, order, honorable members. Order, order. Honorable members, we revert to reporting, and I now put the question, which is that the House do agree with the committee in the said report. As many as are of that opinion say aye. 
as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay. nay. The eyes have it. <laughs> mm. Mover. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that the national. Mover to move third. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill, National Assembly the, Bill the, Number 73. The, 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 order Majority Leader, the, the Honorable TJ Kajuang and the Honorable Milio Diambo, you cannot call for division when only two of you are standing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, yeah, we I, can I, see. I was standing so, to... So, no, notably, even including the majority leader, you don't meet the number required by the standing orders to force division. And you know, so, let the move, uh, move the third reading. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And you know I am never confused. So I can never have been standing for division or standing to move for third reading, which I now do. And I beg to move that the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill National Assembly Bill Number 73 of 2023 be now read a third time, and I also request the Honourable Pauline Languris, the member for Samburu, to second. Give her the mic. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, Majority Leader. <laughs> I second. I second. Did, did I hear Honourable Mili say you, you are the Majority Leader? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I second. Leader. I second. <laughs> All the honorable members. Honorable members, allow me to propose the question, which is that the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 73 of 2023, be now read at that time. Yes, Honorable Tom Joseph Francis Kajuang, on this one you can be at. M Mr. Speaker, sometimes being in this house for uh, a period of time arms people with experience. Mm. You see, in a very short while, Mr. Speaker, you have brought laughter into this house and the temperatures have cooled. But uh, just before you came in, uh, we had members who I think should be here for a third time so that when they become chair of committees, they know exactly how to handle committees. But Honorable T.J. Kajuang, Mr. Speaker, you, 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 you cannot discuss the chair or the presiding officer before a speaker without a substantive motion. You even put the speaker in a very awkward position, you understand? So could you, deal, could you deal I, with I, um, I, the I, debate I, absent that? I, I withdraw uh, those statements. But Mr. Speaker, um, this will haunt us. It will come back to us someday. I'm not going to go to court. I'm no longer a lawyer. I'm a legislator. This is my place to say things. And things must be done here. And so I must not threaten anybody about court of law. Those court of law will take their chance. But Mr. Speaker, you know, this is still going to another house. The point we are making, the point we are making is a very simple one. Mr. Speaker, to join the head of service at the same time to be the chief of staff are two different uh, nomenclature. One is a public officer that we oversight because he is the head of service. But the other is an appointee of the president who at best is a minister. He's a minister. If you go to all the commonwealth, a chief of staff is almost as a minister. A president decides who becomes. In fact, this is a person who actually can go to the kitchen of the president. And he's allowed worldwide to take his most loyal person to be the chief of staff. But the head of civil service is another matter. He need not be the person who is most loyal to the president. He need, he need to be a person who is loyal to the country. 
loyal to the country so that we can oversight him. These are issues, big issues, which will still come back. Other people will interpret it. Maybe the courts of law, I do not know. Maybe the Obutatas will take these things to the court of law. I don't know. But I can tell you that this is unconstitutional to the extent that it is mixing public service and the chief of staff. It is very unconstitutional. But because, but because the majority have said so, so be it. But the record will show that on this day, T.J. Kajuan stood on his place and said that this is unconstitutional. And I am sure the person who is the head of civil service, who is also the chief of staff, is watching this. He may push it for all I, I, I care, but it is still unconstitutional. Unconstitutional. Thank you, Chair. The Honorable Mili Grace Akot Odiambo Mbona, the MP for Subanot. Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance. Mr. Speaker, I just want to thank Honorable uh, Kajuang for what is indicated. Our concern is that when you are a member of parliament, you must be heard, because that is our representation role. And one of the things that I wanted to say earlier to the bill is the issue of unconstitutionality of some of the issues that are being raised. And I know we don't have the numbers, so Honorable uh, Ichungwa could have easily raised his members to defeat, but having had a chance for us to speak. And I'm hoping the majority side can take cognizance of the things that we are saying for purposes of human rights and good governance. And Mr. Speaker, I just want to say that I am proudly serving as a third member, a, a third term elected. If you add, if you add as nominated, I'm serving my fourth term. So I'm very familiar with when the real business of the house is. And especially because of the jokes we've been having here, I don't come for the time of any other business. I come to the house when we deal with real issues, legislation that affects lives. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, I was here in time to deal with this issue. So I just want to encourage my loving sister, Njeri, Please learn from me. I am serving my third term, senior most woman member of parliament. Honorable Chungwa, please underline that. And as my sister is learning from me, she will come back three, four times and even become governor because she's learning at my feet. But if you follow somebody like Chungwa, who I'm told is not going to Italy to study, you will fail miserably. So please. Follow the Honorable Milio Diamos of this house, who can do excellent work. And I just want to tell Honorable Ichungwa that I actually won. Even having called the, the former president names, they still recognize my sterling work in this house for the work that I've done, and the work I continue to do, and the work I will continue to do. This you cannot take away from me. Sharp to the core. Thank you. I don't support. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Honorable Milio Diambo, you, the only thing you forgot today was to remind Honorable Ichungwa that you are with the president in school at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable members, allow me now to put the question. I've confirmed we have the necessary quorum to dispose of this. And I therefore put the question, which is that the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 73 of 2023, be now read a third time. As many as are of that opinion say, aye. aye. As many as are of a contrary opinion say, nay. The eyes have it. A bill for an act of parliament to make, to, make, to make various amendments to statute law on national government administration and for connected purposes. Next order. 
Order number 13, the National Land Commission Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill number 43 of 2023, second reading. Yes, Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I, I again rise on standing order number 87. Because, Honorable Speaker, uh, as was being conversed by the Honorable Mili, those of us that have been here long enough have a duty of care to those who are new. And it is not fair, Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from that noise. Order! Those, those members who are engaging in other national duties outside the, the house can leave quietly. It is a member for Soy. They, they can leave quietly. Those members, the Honorable Ngeleche, I know you are busy with some other parliamentary duty, duties outside of the plenary. You may leave quietly so that the, the majority leader can be heard in silence. Honorable Speaker, leader, I, was saying, I was saying, and you've rightly put it uh, when the Honorable TJ attempted to take that route of discussing the conduct of a chair of a committee of the whole who is sitting in on behalf of the speaker. But Honorable Speaker, during the committee of the whole, the Honorable Mili Odiambo attempted to do the same, to not only discuss the conduct of the person, of the chairperson, but to throw epithets at the person who was chairing the committee of the whole and I want to agree with Honorable Mili that the likes of the Honorable Njeri have a lot to learn from those of us who are older here. And therefore, we must not leave it to pass. And we must, we must, uh, Honorable the, the, the Speaker. Honorable Mili, or the Honorable, allow the Speaker to, to listen to the majority leader. Well, if you have something to say, you will surely have your chance to do so. Let, 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 let us debate and let us... Honorable Speaker, I was saying because the chair of the committee at the time even tried to... Honorable call Mili, the, the Honorable, Honorable Mili Majority Mili Leader is on a point of order. And Thank I you. can assure you, you, you risk being, being declared disorderly. Honorable Speaker, you will indulge the Honorable Mili for obvious reasons. <laughs> you had her call the only Pauline Languris, the majority leader, and said you will notice as she walks out that she is really the majority. And Mili also danced on the floor of the house, only that we never liked her dance, uh, because there was nothing majority in her dance. There was only minority in her dance. But Honorable Speaker, on a more serious issue, the issue of discussing the person of the chairperson of that of the speaker, you cannot do that without bringing a substantive motion to the floor of the House. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, I wanted to beg you that you do find the Honorable Mili Odiambo to have been completely out of order, so that those of us who are new in this House do not take it for granted that you can rise in your place, shout, throw epithets at the person of the speaker, of the chairperson of a committee, even committees, departmental committees and our select committees when they are sitting, when that a person, even a fellow member is chairing that committee, is doing that on behalf of the speaker. And therefore need to carry ourselves with the dignity and respect that we demand to be given to us as honorable members of parliament. If you want to be respected as a member, you must also respect that person who is chairing the house, either as a chairperson of the committee of the whole or a speaker. Honorable Speaker, that is why we see many of us refrain ourselves from saying things that we would otherwise want to say to even fellow members, Honorable Speaker, including Mili Odiambo, who is my very good friend. There are certain things I would have said about her, but I can never say them on record because I respect her as an honorable member, but I expect her to equally respect whoever is chairing the committee of the whole or whoever is chairing the House as a uh, temporary speaker, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, I want you to find that uh, the Honorable Mili Odiambo was uh, grossly out of order. And uh, may, she also, may I also plead with Honorable Mili Odiambo, Honorable Speaker, through you, uh, to be a good example to fellow members, especially those who are new, uh, so that we all learn and dignify this House. We cannot dignify the House by shouting. We don't dignify the House 
by being disorderly and uh, defying what the speaker is saying, Honorable Speaker. We dignify the House by being honorable members, Honorable Speaker, and I really want to beg that, that moving forward, uh, even the Honorable Milio Diambo will allow the 20 years of experience that she has gained in this House to uh, be a good, uh, to be a member in good standing even with fellow members, so that uh, uh, the member for Migori, the member for Busia, the member for Kirinyaga can learn from, you know, Mili today is a grandmother of the House. She is the oldest female member of the House. She is the grandmother of the House. Honorable uh, Kainan is the grandfather of the House today. But he carries himself with a dignity befitting a grandfather of the House. Uh, I therefore really want to beg the Honorable Mili. I know there are moments of humor, uh, but also that should come with some dignity to the House and to herself as the grandmother of the House, or what is popularly called Shosh. Uh, in the parlance out there. Uh, and she is indeed the shosh of the house, uh, but I want to beg her to also uh, dignify that position of a uh, uh, ranking member of the house and the grandmother of the house. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Mili, you, you certainly don't need to raise a point, to rise on a point of order. You can be sure you have a right to respond, not as a matter of point of order. In fact, I was coming to you. Yeah, but um, give Honorable Mili the mic. Honorable Mili, would you be limited to confirming what the majority leader said? Because if it goes beyond that, then it would require much more than I would be permitted to do. Thank As you, Mr. Speaker. Officer. Mr. Speaker, it becomes very difficult to confirm uh, what the speaker, uh, the majority leader was saying because he said so many things. He talked about uh, another member being uh, the majority leader and that you will see it when she's walking out. And from where I sit, she is majority leader. You can see it when she's walking out, so I can confirm that. And secondly, uh, he, to he also mentioned... Uh, you know, that I'm the shosh of the house. No, I'm not the shosh of the house. I'm the Dani of the house. And I'm very proudly the Dani of the house. I'm not the shosh of the house. But uh, you also well, mentioned... Honorable Mili, what, what, what is uh, shosh, Dani, what are those? Shosh, Make the my understanding, understand your my contribution. understanding I know, is I know, shosh. I know, I know as a lawyer, sometimes you speak in Latin, but I've not met those in Latin. Yes. My understanding is shosh is grandmother in Kikuyu. I am just clarifying that I am Dani, which is grandmother in Luo. So I'm not Shosh. I am grandmother in Luo. And Dani is also a very fond word because I look like my grandmother, Aringo Meja Nyobiero, Nyamin Captain. So yes, I am Dani of the house. I'm Dani Nyobiero Meja Ringo. Okay. So I am okay. I, I get I you, the Dani of the house. Honorable Mili, if, But now, if, uh, oh, can I co also confirm the other issue please, that he raised? Uh, please, please, Honorable Mili. Yes. Just say it. You remember I stood you up and I limited your response to either confirming what the majority leader uh, raised or denying. So did, 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 did I hear you to deny? Mr. Speaker, I have uh, talked yeah, about yeah, some yeah, because, of the issues. Because Honorable Mili, so I am getting to another one. On, Honorable Mili, the third one. Honorable Mili, get me. Yes. If you deny, there is a particular way the speaker wants to direct we proceed. If you confirm there is also a particular way the standing orders mandate the speaker to proceed. So can you take aside so that... Yes, speaker Mr. Speaker, actually that is what I'm in the process of doing. And you are a lawyer, and if you are even in a court of law, you hardly told yes or no. Because you have to explain yourself. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the majority leader for bringing the debate this way. And the reason he's done that is that he's actually anchoring his discussions on democracy and governance principles, meaning we must be heard. When you are not heard, you will use any other means to be heard. Nonetheless, I just want to challenge the majority leader to bring the hands up on, and see on record. On, on Tell me what I said on record, because I was Mili. never given a chance 
No record, please. Honorable Mili. No record. Give me what I say. Mili. On record. Order. So, so you, you, you deny what the majority leader says. You don't confirm. This is the direction. Honorable Mili, I've understood you. Honorable uh, Mili, that you will uh, withdraw. Withdraw that so that the, the speaker can give the appropriate directions on the matter raised by the majority leader. You may not be on record, but you are audibly heard. And then can I also draw it? Honorable Bromili, would you withdraw the word delusional in reference to the member you used the word? Chair, in line you with must, the you must be fair as a lawyer. If I said something on record, I withdraw it on record. If I said it off record, I withdraw it off record. Honorable Mili, the records bear you saying somebody within the house, a member, is delusional. And I'm saying that word is unparliamentary. M make it easy for the speaker to preside over the house. Okay, Chair, I want to replace it with the words that he is no, not entirely replace. truthful. Y just withdraw it. It cannot be used in reference to any member. No, I I've just said it's not entirely truthful. That's very close. I, I want the word, and I've directed Honorable Mili, that the word delusional as applied in reference to a member of the House be withdrawn by you. Chair, that you Just is... withdraw it. It does not hurt. Just withdraw it. Chair, it hurts. But I will withdraw it. hurts thoroughly. Because I believe it is. But I withdraw. It hurts. <laughs> Thank you for withdrawing. Yeah, so, honorable members, allow me. Majority leaders rest concerns uh, decorum within the house and the manner in which we should proceed while on the house during debate, whether in the plenary or in the committee of the own. The difficulty the speaker finds himself in is that um, he was not in the house when those um, matters that the majority leader mentioned were raised. And so the speaker now presiding